Praise God, Bishop. With me is Miss Full Package. Bishop, she said when she first came, she just came to see what's going around. She thought she would just come and go. But Bishop, she said now she's rooted and grounded here. She said she came with so many problems that she don't know it, it, how many people could have stood with those problems. But she said, thank God for the anointing on your life and on Dr. Jennifer's life. All those problems are gone. All gone. All gone. Somebody give Jesus a man of praise. And she said right now she's rooted and grounded here and she knows she's a kingdom millionaire and she just wants to thank God for your life. So she just came here to give God the glory. When she came, she didn't have no driving license. She didn't have, she, this woman, she, she didn't have a status. She had qualified as a nurse and actually she had appealed over seven times with immigration. But when she came, not only God gave her status, the same week, God gave her driving license, gave her status, and gave her a husband, and gave her a house, and a brand new car. Somebody give Jesus. And she, you can see, she just came from holiday. How was it? It was fantastic, Bishop. I think the, that's when I, when I look back, um, before I came to the church, Bishop, I never went outside of London or outside of UK or anywhere in the world. I just so when I came to this ministry, Bishop, when you prayed for me, every word that you prophesied in my life, I can see it happening now. I went to Paris with friends, paid everything, and I've got a holiday again booked in July, all inclusive, all paid for Bishop, and I'm enjoying the a millionaire status, and I'm a millionaire through you, man of God, and the woman of God. You prayed for me the first day I came here. You just prophesied for me and you prayed for me and that was it bishop all the every day i'm in a in a testimony in a miracle through the ministry that's why i'm not going anywhere bishop i'm staying here for good even my family they know that bishop yeah because i'm a girl who was known because of my problems to say oh that one who cannot be married or that one who is educated but cannot get a job or that one who has got bad luck that's how they knew me but when i came to this ministry all bad luck was broken. That's why I like to thank the men of God, and I don't know how to thank you, men of God and woman of God. Because really, when I I, I feel emotional, because I this I think this church was meant for me because uh, I was asking God when I came to uh, Great Britain. I was rooted in I, my first point of uh, arrival was in Greenwich, and I was saying, Lord, why did you put me in Greenwich? I wanted to go to North London or other areas which are a bit posh. But God did a purpose. And when a friend of mine said, Come to church, I said, Where, where is this church? It's, she said, It's in Greenwich. And I said, Oh. And when I came just for the first time, the man of God with this anointing, powerful anointing, awesome anointing, he picked me from the ground. He didn't even know me. I didn't even talk to him. He just picked me from the back and said, Come. And he prayed for me. And that was it. That's how I became a millionaire. That was, that's how all the bad luck was broken. I started to get married, to enjoy my life, to enjoy my houses, to enjoy everything. Now I'm so happy. And I had a lot of pimples in my face. If you see the pictures, uh, the first pictures, when I came, first came Bishop, I had a lot of bumps on my face and I looked very ugly. And, you know, to show that this um, uh, an anointing is real and is very powerful. Don't undermine the man of God. Don't undermine every prophetic word that he says. That's why sometimes I jump like a crazy woman because I know that when he's talking, he's talking to me. And I believe and I receive and I keep this anointing. Amen. I mean, some hallelujah. You know, God blessed us so much. Can you imagine? I mean, you know, I remember, I, I mean, it's amazing her testimony. Can you imagine, you know, she meets a man and the man, you know, found her and instead of saying, no, he says, I want to marry you, even before he has seen her. And the man says, to prove that I love you, I give you a house. And she asked her, what car do you want? Ordered a brand new car from Japan. They had to import it so quickly. Huh? Not when he asked me to say what, what car do you want, I did not know that this Mercedes, this BMW, I chose a Toyota because of ignorance. It's true, yeah, because uh, this was all new to Can you repeat this again? Now listen to this. Listen to what it says. I mean, no, the man said, what car do you want? Because of ignorance, 
She only asked for Toyota because back from Africa is only what? Toyota. Toyota is the only car that survives in Africa. Can you repeat? It's, no, it's good. Tell some people here. No, it's not because I think it's because uh, I was uh, there was a lot of witchcraft which was going in my life, and um, I never knew that I can have something which is really good. So when this man said, "What type of car do you want?" I just saw it, it Toyota, and I was just trying. I didn't know that it can happen. But when the Toyota was bought, a brand new one, I said, "Oh, I could have said a BMW, a Mercedes, or a 4x4, or something better." Uh, because there was a lot of uh, bad luck that I was going through in my life, even my drive. Do you think, uh, can you imagine I learned driving for five years? It did be not the man of God who prayed for me. And I just went and passed instantly after being prayed for. Five years of uh, learning to drive. Just a simple car which even someone can drive, biting a cigarette, they can drive. But me, I couldn't. I couldn't drive at all for five years. Uh, road, uh, t a test after test after test. But when the man of God just laid his hands just once, and I passed instantly. So that's why I said this church is so powerful for me. That's why I, don't, I like it so much. Shout hallelujah here now. Toyota. And uh, I'm gonna be, you know those who are there. The man, the husband, all that brand new Toyota, not from UK. No, they had to, imp what did they, they'd forgotten, is it the bump, what did they forgot? Um, they said the um, the car was assembled. Uh, I think all the parts came in and it was assembled here in UK for me. They had to assemble it with zero mileage. I'm talking about not even the mileage for the for the mechanic to start to try. No, it had zero mileage. Can you imagine the spell that in our family buying second-hand car was broken? She was the first one in our family to get a brand new car. We are talking about the Shunammite woman, these um, uh, kings, two kings, four verse uh, 19, which we're talking today. I think it's related to me because uh, when, I, when I grew up, I was the only girl and um, um, very much loved with my family. And I think I died when I was three years old and um, there was no hope for me. I think it was the prophetic word which was spoken over my family to say they are going to lose their boss. I think they didn't want my family to have a, a girl in the family. So I, God resurrected me, I think, for these special people to come here and work in this ministry. So miracles happened and I, I rose up from the dead. So when you talk about this Shunammite story, it really touches me. Stretch up your right now. Father, I thank you for her life. I mean, when we talk about millionaire, we're not talking about this woman. God bless her eyes. We have seen God to come from nothing. God bless her with houses. Moved her just from here. She's got properties all over there in the middle of, what, where is it called? In the middle of where? In Coswold, in Zimbabwe, all over the place. From nothing to something. From, huh? And men of God to show that this anointing is really powerful and it does work. For, for somebody who was facing rejection, this man is an English, a pure English man born and bred in, in here in UK to accept me as a black person, to say, before you come into, the, into my house, I respect you, I give you the, all the, the house keys and the, all my cars, they are yours. What is yours is mine. This, Whatever is mine is yours. And this is the, uh, it's so awesome. When I told my family, they said, we need to see this man of God as soon as possible. They all believe in Bishop. Yeah, because they, we, yes, they really believe in Bishop. They said, we want to see this man of God. Because they knew the bad luck that I had, and which is in our family. Something which is being done by people which we, we know. So I thank this ministry and the man of God and the woman of God for praying for me, for being a millionaire. And to have tested the sweetness of this anointing is so sweet, that's why I'm not going anywhere. I know sometimes you might have some, a few things, but I stay rooted here because I know when the man of God prays like this, it's going to happen. And I don't hesitate to put a seat. I don't, I don't hesitate to put my tithe under what circumstances. Whether I've got a job or no job, my tithe will come in, my seat will come in. Sometimes I do direct a bit, but I, I know that when the man of God uh, speaks, he means it. He really means it, and it will come to pass. Amen. Stretch up your right. Father, thank you, Father, for more favors in our life. Bless her. Your faith has made thee whole. 